Hey guys, it's Phil back, and it's part 5 of the Spartan campaign for Rome 2. Or what I did after the end of that part was basically just move my armies into place and um, just use my spy to poison them. As you can see, we took out uh, quite a good amount of their men and we leveled uh, her up. As you can see there, she didn't really have a level up. Level up. I don't think what we're going to do is we're going to fight actually I'm going to move him there we're going to use the uh, best most leveled up army to siege it yes yes okay I'm actually going to uh, besiege it for one turn because I want to see them light siege towers for once. I've not actually seen them I don't think since I started at Christmas playing this. But yeah, uh, this should be actually an interesting battle because it's 5,120 men versus 4,208 men. I have a good, uh, a good remaining force still standing if I was to um, auto resolve it, but I'm not. I'm actually going to uh, fight it because I don't want to lose s too many men. So, what I'll do is I think we're actually going to see if I can get a peace treaty with listen. these. No. Okay. So I'm going to go and end the turn. And at the start of next turn, I think we'll be attacking Pella and taking out the Macedonians. They want a peace treaty. Um, no, even when that um, was on medium, I don't want to take the risk. I want to get rid of them. I want my edict. Even if I don't take... Apollonia, I still want to get rid of them because you never know in the future they could get strong and they could backstab you, which that will never happen to me. I'm not taking the chances. I am not going to take that chance. Because that will probably what will happen. They'll backstab me. Because they don't want Sparta to be the best in the world, which actually technically they already are. Even without me conquering the world with them. They're still pretty good. It's just AIs so are just sharp with them. So they don't you don't see the strong point. Okay. Attention, we lost 128, that's okay. I actually want to just Yeah, this is it's, it's nothing. Uh, that's nothing. 128 guys is spread out, so that's good. We can't, I'm not going to upgrade that because um, I don't really want to. Okay, so I guess we'll be attacking Pella. And we have the light siege weapons. Siege towers, actually. Oh, 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 hang on. One sec. Um, actually, no. Can I poison them? No, I can't poison them. That's a shame, actually. It'd be actually quite good if you could poison them, but you can't. I could besiege it for three turns and it just automatically goes to me, but I will be attacking them. I want that sense, uh, settlement under my control. Because what will happen is if I besiege it, I will lose about 500 guys from it. So I'm not taking that risk. The one thing that will happen is I will lose a lot of men on this if they've got oil. Which I'm guaranteed they probably have. Unfortunately, this settlement is very small considering its capital, which is annoying actually. But it doesn't matter. We have the advantage. We have four uh, ballistas, and we have towers, and we have ladders. The only thing we don't have is naval, so we can't actually. Um, drop our men actually inside of their settlement which is actually quite hilarious that we can't do if we could that would be actually quite awesome but anyway 
I think we'll um, slightly. Oh, you only get two. Okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. No, I actually, actually looked at these. <laughs> Cause I'm not. So I'm just gonna quickly have a look and show you guys as well. So obviously you got your ladders and that. And then at the top there's your ram, well, kind of platform where you can run off. I'm not actually sure what these guys do down here. And do they turn around, they spin around and then go up the ladders or what? If you know, please do tell me. The plan actually is to attack this wall here. Because if I attack here, um, I'll have a couple of more towers to actually. But basically, be the same. But anyway, the ships are coming anyway, so I'm just gonna just gonna um, go here. What I will do is, I'm hoping to get both towers kind of on here, and then get these four. I'm actually gonna drop them two for now. Um, oh, we don't want pikes on there, so we'll have to obviously get him on there. I don't want to put my pikes on there because I need my pikes outside of the um, settlement for the. Um, for the navy. Before I forget, I will pike them up. Um, what I'll have to do is general. quickly just pause it and farm a general f from the other army. So I need to know so I don't send him in by mistake as a normal unit and they don't die. Because normally that's what happens, I just send them in. And they die. These guys, they'll go here. And actually, before I actually send them in, I will engage with these at the gate so I don't lose as many men. And hopefully I'll take them oils out. That oil. With oil, okay. Yes. Hopefully I can do that. If I do that, um, I shouldn't lose too many men. I'm hoping it should. I'm just going to pause it there. These I'm actually going to aim the gate. I'll put it on explosive rounds and hopefully we should actually be alright. I'm hoping these yeah. I'm hoping I don't too lose too many men because um what'll happen is these will um Normally they uh, they put them in a line, but obviously they're not going to. But well, that doesn't matter. I'm actually going to put the backs to there, and I'm going to cover them with. Oh, wrong way. Cover that, and then obviously I'm going to play it because I can't see. Obviously. Cover like that. Approaching. I'm gonna get them behind them. Like so. Hopefully I can get them in position very quickly. Oh, they're actually... Taking quite a long time for them to get in. Obviously. It's taking quite a long time for my guys to get in. But yeah, I'll just shove them over there. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I don't know what's going off with these. engage them. These I'll obviously get to attack the wall. If you want a quick little look at these because I've never actually seen these. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And then the men hopefully just come charging. Okay, a bit slow. But yeah, that that's a lot quicker and you get um, your men deployed a lot quicker and you get them more you get them in a quite a good pack, shall we say. Hoping this will do something to this wall and take out their oil. If the, if I do get the oil taken out, I should be fine. But yeah, if we have... Okay, I don't know what's happening with these. Okay. I'm actually going to get these on the flanks over here, and I'm also going to get the other cav to group up with them here, hopefully. Let's just get them like that. Hopefully they will um, land here. Hopefully not attack my own guys. Hoping them... Ballisters don't take so long. They are so slow, but yeah, they're good. They're actually going out. Just gonna okay, that's good. That's good. They are um, they're routing. Oh, 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 oh! That's nearly gone, actually. That's nearly, that's completely nearly gone. Oh, I just... I want to see what happens. In cinematic mode, so I'll put that in there. Just want to see. Ooh! Ho -ho. See how much is left? <laughs> that's going to get taken down within at least one. One or two. The other army should be fine. Oh, come on, one more, at least, please, come on, one more. They're deploying over this, so I'm actually going to have to ignore that gate. Hopefully, come on, come on. Oh. I'm going to deploy them there. And put them on that. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Basically what's going to happen is when I use the missiles, I'm going to go up there. Or damage units or something like that. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there goes the gate. A bit late, but I'm hoping that should be, it should be still fine. We just take out these towers. Hoping they should fall. Mm, I might not get it, but I'm hoping that oil in that is actually. It's actually, I'll focus on that wall because then I can. Ooh, I might just get it. I might not. Hopefully, I can get it. Like I say, it might, I might not get it. Oh, ho ho! That's that's not actually bad. Well, it's not really breach, is it? <laughs> it's a bit stupid. I'm not taking actually quite a lot of casualties, which is quite surprising. Oh, come on, come on! You should do better than that. 
I'm gonna get my guys back, otherwise they're gonna. They're gonna. Oh, ho, ho, ho! How is my general under attack? Okay, I didn't have skirmish on, so that's bad. Okay, where, where was that supposed to be firing? So, I'm actually going to lose a unit there. Boy, it should be fine. Okay, this army needs to move in. The battle is turning in our favor. It was already in our favor anyway. Okay, these. I'm going to show you something new, actually. I'm going to fire the hell out of that. But I'm gonna put it on an explosive for you guys, hoping that they will get in range in time. What I will do is I'll pull all my guys back. Uh, one way of actually telling who the general is is to look at the the guys. But it's basically the base morale will be. A lot higher, so he is my general. And I'll obviously group him with that. But I'll take that out. So they're basically my generals. Um, they're going to be in range, so it'll be fun. Hoping I don't lose any men when they fire, otherwise, it'll be shot. King. Two are fired. Come on, come on. Perfect. Twenty percent damage, and I take I uh, took out ten of their men. So that's good. Very good. The problem is I don't think there's actually a way. I don't think they can actually get down. <laughs> I don't. I literally don't think they can get down from there. Um. Damn. <laughs> that wasn't a good idea. Of taking uh, that tower out. I'm just basically gonna let them do whatever. <laughs> Problem is, I don't want to send my guys through there. The enemy have taken a tower. I'm gonna do it. So I'm just gonna send a guy through there. See what happens. I'm gonna see what happens. Oh, yay! Stay that out. Okay. Cav. Pikes. The thing with the oil is, I need these coming over actually. I should be fine. I'll be fine. Let's just get them to take them out. They actually are just get the javelins to take them out instead. Who the set of slingers will come behind these and I'll put them as four. Okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. So I will not lose any units at all when I go through there. Um, unless they attack me. Their bit oil is basically gone. So that's that's good. Um, I could run my cavern, but yeah, it's a high threat, so it's I wouldn't. I'm taking my time with this campaign. With, um, not the campaign, the battle because I don't want to lose too many men. I don't know why it's paused. Um, I literally don't want to lose um, too many. I don't care if I lose one unit at least. Uh, that is expected. But yet. I um, don't really want to lose too many. 
Oh, oh there's a sinking ship. She's actually quite funny. One of these. Um, oh, wrong one. The output is five. Um, oh no. I should actually pull them back so I don't actually lose it. I'm trying to get these over so I can take that tower out. So I don't actually, when I go in, I don't take so much damage. I'm trying to do that, but... Um, the problem with that, it, it, it takes long. It, it takes quite a bit of time, but... Oh, what, what on earth? Um, yeah, take, um, stop firing. You are taking my own freaking guys out, man. Do you seriously mind? I guess they don't. They'll be paying for the freaking um, recruitment costs and that sort of thing. <laughs> recruitment costs. Who invented them? There's no point sending him. Man. Recruitment costs. Oh my days. Whoa! What the? That completely missed. Wow. This is actually completely missing. Wow. Um. Yeah. Yeah. These are coming down here. Yeah. If I'm, if he's doing no damage, I'm bringing them down. It's that's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It's taking more time, but wow! I didn't bring these down at all. Oh well. I'm just I'm just glad that these done the job up here, but they can't get down, which is annoying. Otherwise, I could have actually already took this settlement. Um, just with these units, they probably could have done it on their own. Save their own range. That's the problem. If you go too high, they they um, kind of backfire actually where you want them to fire. Um, yeah, they fire. No, yeah, no. Come on, fire. There we go. Okay, so hopefully now they've. Yeah, that's completely messed. Um, let's try normal. They're hitting about uh, three out of a no. Yeah, that's doing more damage. Let's keep that one. And plus, it's more accurate. If you're watching that. Okay, the there enemy's we go. tower has been destroyed. There we go. Uh, with these, I'm actually going to target them because I can't actually get on that wall now unless I put them up and I'm not. Doing that. So I'm going to charge them. I'm gonna group them up as seven. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Charge them up. I can't see where that fire and bot. Yeah, I'll put it back on. Not flammable, blimey now. Explosive, more like. I'm hoping I don't take my own guys out. This would be actually quite fun if I got one in them. Yeah, they're hitting the wall. Um, actually, that's actually a good idea, because if you hit the wall, they'll take a load of men out. Take the wall out. It'd be a lot easier. Plus I can get in as well. Number seven. We'll just charge all seven. Five into them. Hoping I can take that out. I might not. Probably. Oh! 
Oh, yeah, one more, hopefully. Hoping one more take him out. Oh, no. Yep. There we go. I'm also just going to fire some in there. Hopefully we're in range. Uh, we're not, actually. So we're going to obviously have to uh, move them quite a far bit. Kind of. We're actually going to get them to fire here with um, ex um, explosive rounds. And with these, um, she's going to get slingers to fire at them. They should break. I could flank them with my cav or do something like that, but if I do with the cav, I could take quite a good uh, amount of losses because they are spearmen. Uh, with these, I'm actually going to engage over there. I'm actually going to send them around there. Actually blocking up a formation, which that isn't actually bad for these. Do there. Hmm. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go on the tactical to see. They're in range, so I'm gonna get them. To f wow. Kind of. Just fire them. Where's his general? I'm gonna actually get him to shoot at the general because if I can take a couple of them peltas out, there shouldn't be a problem. But hopefully, not take out my own guys at the same time. What would be actually quite nice. Taking quite a good amount of losses. Yeah, because they're f trying to fire at them. Good, 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 good. Uh, they lost four, but it's fine. I'm actually going to a flammable. Just put them on flammable. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Damn it. It they didn't take as uh, many out as what I wanted them to do. But it should be fine. Okay, that's, his, that's my general. And then... Them. I'm actually going to send here. But I'm going to get my pikes in. The best guys, actually. Hopefully, I can kind of do something like that and hopefully get them. And a formation behind. Uh, actually, in front of them. Oh, oh. Great. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Great. We're actually going to get them out of this settlement. Because they're gonna otherwise lose too many. I don't want to lose that many men. Because I've already lost basically that. And then I've lost already two of them, and then that. And plus, I'm gonna lose quite a bit of men for these. If I don't deal with them, shot cav actually. Oh, they're mercenaries actually. Shot cav. Can't. Yeah, I'm in range. So that's good. Let's get them to fire at them. Tr take as many of them as I possibly can. And then with these, I'm actually going to get them over here and then engage his royal peltas. Well, not l literally engage, but you know. Yeah, these are just gonna go in formation or what? Okay, but I think they are, but <laughs> I'm gonna actually group them onto its their own, so no. 
I do have units there, so I'm just gonna send. For some reason, I can't recruit them. Just gonna send them to because they're the other two best. I'm gonna send. Send him in, and I'll also send my two generals in behind them. He's gonna. Um, just trying to take out his general um, if I can. Best calf against them. General, two arm and gauge. Ready for orders. General, advance now. Yeah, I know I boosted them by accident, but it's fine. I'm trying to just take as many of them out as I can. Okay, um... a mistake, he's just sent his cannon. So now I'll um, add to that, I'll just send all them on. That was genius, mate. That was very genius. In fact, you just made me even more angry. <laughs> I'm just trying to finish this up. I think I might just um, actually just get this, just this one turn in actually in this campaign, in this uh, episode, but yeah. Originally, where is his man? Because half of them aren't even in the. I want to know some. Why have I got them there? Why have I got them there? I, I swear I didn't even send them there. It's apparently over there. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's good to push them back. We're kind of blocking them as well, so that's good. We're not taking so many losses now from that. I'm hoping I can begin trying to get these back sort of. Get them over there, and is that like they don't know if to attack or not to attack or what to do? 
Chin will hide that. Double time! Ready and waiting! Yes, Commander! Just trying to get the pike information so I can if they attack me or something. Okay, there, the break in. This is the thing. You you take your time with these sort of battles. Especially when you uh, are against four thousand men. If you're against four thousand men, you take your time. Even if you have a thousand more men, you still take your time. The whole point of total war is to bring something new to the table. A lot of people want no art in the online battles. That's not war. The whole point of a war is to have art. Otherwise, what's the damn point of being in a war? Hey. You might as well go just, just go to hell if you're not actually going to do art. Just automatically just go. I'll take care of them because they're in the way. We're gonna try and kill them in the line if I can. Yeah, it should be fine. Where's his general? His general's still good. But they're not good enough. Oh! Hot! Um, cavalry. Couple of cavalry guys are getting taken out there. Oh, they're routing, they're routing. Let's go, let's go. I want to take out his royal peltas because that is the most, um, the one thing going against uh, Greeks or whatever, um, whatever um, other factions you get royal peltas like. That you you really need to take your time with the best units you get in the game. With 62 attack, even with him being a general, if he wasn't a general. You still want to be careful. They'll do so much damage against this. Even if you're going against pikes, they still you're still going to have a problem. Because look, that's a high threat. He can just smash through that, even with them having pikes, because their base morale is 91 against a 46. It's not going to stand a chance. The armor is 70. The health, the health is 50. Their attack is, um, what, 62? It's nowhere near. My pikes want to Why are you taking my more missile? Uh, yeah, that's basically the game. I lost 475. I could have done better. I could have lost um, 100. But yeah, I sacrificed them javelins to go see if they had oil. Them, uh, I don't know where they actually went. And then the cav... Um, I could have not took in, but it's kind of one of them things. We took out 3,711 of them. We killed 3,029 of them. Uh, the ballistas didn't really do a lot. They didn't kill a lot of guys, but they are mainly to take out towers, gates, walls, that kind of stuff, siege stuff. The, that's the whole point of having them. But we got a lot of level ups. Good thing is we didn't actually lose a unit. They lost basically nearly every single one. They lost the whole of that force. They didn't lose them four. So basically they, they got smashed. Which hopefully you guys are happy about. And Macedonia is no more. They are dead. Until probably they rebel, which hopefully that won't happen. So, so authority. Let's get rid of that one, but we'll keep that one because we will be getting. Um, we'll be getting Peltas in that one. Again, Peltas. The other building, I 
um, let's actually have a look. That's fine. That I'll get rid of, but I'll I'll um, I'll have a look actually when that's destructed next turn. If I want to rebuild it, so it's technically up to me if I need to rebuild it again or something like that. You can put that down to me being me. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, what I'll do is I'm hoping that that will be enough to take out. Oh, oh dear, that's gonna be. Oh, that's gonna be stronger and hard to attack. Uh, he doesn't really have any. A lot of that. That should be fine. It's basically that. That army's got Pelter. Thracian Pelter has 40 damage. We miss out 54 melee attack with Thracian warriors and plus there are silver. Then he's got Thracian Cavalry missile damage, uh, silver against 35 attack. Then more uh, Glacian um, Garrison, is that right? Yeah. 35 attack, still silver. And then his general is Thracian Nobles, 84 attack. And I think that is maybe a 3 or 4 level up. So yeah, they will dis uh, desecrate that army. So um, even if I've got. Because I've. I've got pikes. I'm still going to actually wait to get this army to actually go over. But that should take uh, no more than one turn, I'm hoping, to um, so that. But yeah, one turn, it should be fine. Um, these, I'm hoping, you are welcome. I need that. Greetings. Now speak I, I don't want to... I don't want to attack him. I don't want to attack him. And I... Definitely don't want to have military and all that, so I'm just gonna leave them for now. Should deal with these four settlements here, and then w and then we'll see. Hmm? So I'm actually gonna wrap it up on that part, so that you only saw that battle in it. But I'd sooner take my time and lose not that many men than. Just uh, speed it up and lose a lot more men. So uh, I'll end. I'll uh, see you guys in part six. Goodbye.